Oh, you're here. Oh, right. It's still starting up in the background. Uh, uh well, I might as well show you where we're... Well, <laughs> I could show you where we're driving, but maybe the, the title will give a hint. Crank, crank, block, and so on. I'll be there in a moment, crank. Yes, stream title. Hmm. What do you mean I've missed the HRE? So, do you think it's 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 give, gonna give you a title? Or a, a hint, the title a hint as to where we're driving? What, what do you what do you think? Helmsworth and Rally and Field Railway? <laughs> no. Mm -mm. What does H R E usually stand for? Tell you what, I might as well switch over. Might as well switch over to the loading screen so that now you can watch uh, pictures. Our regarding elephants? Probably not. Probably not. There we are. <clears throat> yes, you do know this. <laughs> Oh! Do you know it now? <laughs> Number Gringberg? Yes, of course! So, do you know what the HRE stands for? Actually, let me show you. Hold on, I'll quickly switch over in case there's any other window. Nope, that's fine. Hold on, there we are. So, this is where we'll, we will be driving. We'll be, we'll be starting up there. And then we'll be going down to Regensburg, which, by the way, is here in the world. There. In Germany. Which will be fun, hopefully. Regensburg, yes, Regensburg. Not really? Maybe zoom further out, Shadows? Ah, Shadows. <laughs> well, HRE stands for. Holy Roman Empire, yeah? aka a lot of what medieval Germany was. Well, actually, it went a little bit further than that as well, but the, the Holy Roman Empire, because it's like I've just turned up in Germany and it's like, what do you mean I've missed the Holy Roman Empire? Because I've got all the, the trains and... yeah. <clears throat> oh, of course, oh, if only Chris were here. Why? Do you think he'd know that? Good afternoon, driver. It's a lovely summer afternoon here at Nuremberg. You will be driving a regional express down to Regensburg, and after the 1336 departure, your stops will be Neumarket, Oberplatz, Parsberg, Peratshausen, Regensberg Bahnhof, Hauptbahnhof. There are no reported delays today, and you should have a straightforward run down the line. Well, I was assuming I'd take the train, but if you want me to run down the line, sure, I can do that as well. We don't have any third rail electrification here, so we should be good. Uh, yeah, I get it now. Funny, I meant because of Regensburg. Oh, right, of course, yes, you're right. Regensburg, I remember now. <laughs> run down the line. So, open the doors. That's too quiet, I think. Oh, that's on maximum. There we are. This is our train. Germany, by the way. 
Uh, yes, and if we look here, this is Nürnberg Hauptbahnhof. I've actually been here on a few occasions. <laughs> ah, yes, I remember these things. Now, I don't... Eh, yeah, the, the signaling I may need to have some time to get... It may take some time to get used to. Also, I think I will need to quickly switch over to change to increase the volume a bit because it is really very quiet. I don't know why. I have restarted since the last time. Let's try that. Actually, that's odd. Why is that showing it differently? Maybe it'd be better like this. Hold on. Ah, that's better. Well, in Trains in World, you could. BR440. <coughs> Been there too in 2016. <laughs> right. So, let's see if we can get started. Wait, does this thing have cruise control? I honestly don't know. I've not done the tutorial if it has. I don't think it has a tutorial. So I'm not sure if it has cruise control or not. It seems quite quiet. Doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to assume that that means go. Thing. <laughs> the, okay, the train. Alright, and of course it's got a combined power brake handle, which means that... Yeah, that's already a great start. Incidentally, this is the first time I'm ever driving this one, this specific train. <laughs> Quite quiet, yeah, at the moment. But out here, it seems okay, right? It's just inside, it's very, uh, very well isolated, sound-wise. At the moment, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, can I open the window? No, I don't think I can open the window. Okay, so we're just departing uh, out of the yard at Nuremberg. I've still got to get the hang of how long to press and hold the buttons to change the throttle over. Open, says me. <laughs> This isn't the ICE, it doesn't have a coupling covering, a nose covering. Thanks for cup on over it says in the front. Good good. Right, so our next stop, which is Neumarkt uh, Oberplatz, is in 35 kilometers. Oh I can I can speed up to 80 kilometers an hour. And this thing, of course, being an electric train, accelerates really quite quickly. And we're just, we're already approaching 80. Coast, yes. A little bit more power. Look, there's a flyover. Similar to the ones I made in Transport Fever. <laughs> We're just going to coast a little bit, although we are going to have a bit of a downhill bit soon. Doesn't really seem that wise to stick your head out, the, out of the window with a uh, catenary pole, although there is plenty of space there, I think. Okay. I have not. I don't know how well this train breaks. I also don't know how well it slows down. So that's going to be interesting. <laughs> oh no no no! That's too too much acceleration. <laughs> if you just hold the the A key down a little bit too much, it's oh you want to speed up? Sure, let's speed up. No 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 no! <laughs> oh look, there's a talent too. And the speed limit's going to go up to 120 kilometers an hour soon. XD. <laughs> yes. 
On minimum power, it's already accelerating really quite quickly. Okay. Right, we're about to pass the uh, 120. And yes, I do have PZB disabled, if this indeed has it as an option. I don't know that it does. Uh, which, if you didn't know, PZB is a driver alertness system. We've got to acknowledge... Oh, no, no, don't, don't, don't! Yes. No, no, okay, I'm not going to get a very good score in this. <laughs> it's because it accelerates so quickly. Now this up here is for PZB, which stands for Punktförmige Zugbeeinflussung. It basically it you've got magnets uh, along points of uh, the track where the driver needs to pay attention. So, for example, if there's a signal or if the speed limit changes or sometimes just in th there, and you need to then acknowledge that magnet, and you've also got to slow down according to a particular deceleration curve when approaching a yellow signal or a red signal, as the case may be. If you don't keep with that deceleration curve, then, well, let's just say uh, your deceleration is going to accelerate. Your rate of deceleration is going to accelerate. There we, there we go. <laughs> Looks quite nice, doesn't it? Oh, and there we go. That little line in the bottom there, between those two tracks there on the right, the little wire, that is actually LZB, which, uh, no, L, uh, what, what? Yes, LZB, which stands for Linienzugbeeinflussung, which basically gives you a virtual signal. You are, so, in the cab, you've got, actually, no, that's not it. You've got a little, a little bar that tells you how far away the next, uh, either signal is or the next train. So if there's a train ahead of you, it'll tell you, okay, you can go at this speed. Oh, now you're only two kilometers ahead. Okay, you need to slow down to this speed. Oh, now the track's cleared. Okay, now you can accelerate to this speed. And it'll even do it for you. It'll also apply the brakes for you. It'll be, it's basically autopilot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> basically autopilot. Oh, oh no 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 there's a there's a speed change. Come on, slow down, slow down. Okay, I totally didn't pay attention to that. Uh, tell you what, this is a trial run, let's say. <laughs> yeah, I have already lost. Okay, that <laughs> that don't worry about it, we'll we'll it's fine. Uh Uh, this goes via Borg Tan, doesn't it? I don't recall. Maybe. Pretty sure it does. LZB. Ah. Yes, it is nice. Break! Oh, I never needed points anyway. <laughs> no, I do. It's just I don't have them, so I'm not going to bother with them. Well, need is a strong word. Oh, there's a 60 coming up. I've spotted it this time! And yeah, it does, I think, have... Where's that? Where's that acknowledge button? You can hear it if I press Q. Is this thing over here? Nope, that's the Hauptschalter and the pantograph stuff. Ah, here we go. This is it. This is the, the PZB. The acknowledgement uh, frei, which is when you've accidentally tripped it, you can, I think... Oh? Ah. Uh, when you've accidentally tripped it, you have to, I think, use this to make it be... to, to read... To, to loosen it, basically. To, to, to free yourself back up. And then Befehl, I think, is the override for it. Uh, so you can disable it. So if, if you, say, have expressed permission to pass a signal at danger. But I'm not sure how to enable PZB. I also don't know I, if I want to have it enabled. <laughs> I don't think I do, at least not for, the fir for this first uh, trip. Uh, 
trip on the lime. <clears throat> that signal also seems okay, I hope. Let me just save. Uh, silent grumbling, yes. Vassam. Oh, what's this do? His red button. Ah! <laughs> what? Do you mean? Do you mean the Feststellbremse? I think that's the parking brake. Right? Yes, that's the parking brake. That red button there is the parking brake. We're coming up to feucht, which translates to moist or damp. <laughs> feucht platform two. <laughs> Nächste Station. Feucht. Yeah. Oh, I've got the wrong lights on. There we go. You didn't tell me I had the wrong lights on. Yeah, this is going to get some... This is going to take some getting used to driving this train. Tail lights! I saw them, yeah. But you didn't tell me before. Something did seem odd. <laughs> Nächste Station. London. Oh. Yeah, it does like to run away a bit. Ah, that looks like a four signal. Although I'm not sure if it is, because it counts as a signal at the bottom, so maybe it wasn't. I think there's the VS signal system. Uh, Bl Blondau? Was, what was that? Hmm. Or, oh, London? Yes, I said London. There's another Talent 2. Or Talent 2. By the way, uh, 60 kilometers per hour, which we're at now, is I think. So, yeah, I think it's 37 miles per hour. Nope, don't. Okay, now, now the speed limit's gone back up to 140. Although I know that some speed limit changes won't be down on the thing, on, on the map, because the map at the bottom only shows track speed limit changes. If there is a speed limit change that is enforced by a signal, so a, a temporary speed limit change, then I don't think that that will be displayed at the bottom, so I do have to pay a bit more attention to signals. Oh, not that close, please. Oh, we're speeding. <laughs> it's also a little tiny bit laggy, mostly because there are so many 3D trees along this bit. But it's fine. Okay, and there's 120 speed limit coming up. Ochenbrook. Ochenbrook, platform 1. Uh, which BR442 do you prefer? The Wessex Electric or the Talent 2? Uh, what is the Wessex Electric? Is the Wessex, Wex, Wessex Electric the the flirt, or is that a different one? No, I think it's a different one. What is the Wessex Electric? Could you please post the link? The Plastic Pig. Oh! Oh, right! BR as in... Oh, whisp the Whispering... I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, in that case, I'm gonna say the Wessex Electric, yes. Yeah, yeah, the Gatwick, Gatwick Express. <clears throat> I thought you meant... I thought they were both by the same company. The, the ones you meant. Uh, SWT, yes, all those. Uh, nice, uh, I agree, okay. Well, former jet. Mm. But is there a train coming? There may be a train coming. I thought I heard the... Oh yeah, and there's a... See, there's a, a, an indicator that will be dropping down a little bit more. In terms of speed. Well, hopefully in terms of speed. Definitely in terms of speed limit. By 
By the way, region means region. So the, a, a regional express means it is a regional express. If that wasn't clear enough. Hmm. This station isn't even listed at the bottom. It isn't marked as a station. Interesting. What is this? Ah, Mimberg. <laughs> Actually, I think that was just the sound of my own train that I was hearing before. Oh, and of course I'm speeding again. Yeah, with this one, you do tend to speed quite a lot. At least I do. <laughs> Hello? Wait. Can you... I can hear people in the background. Listen. You can hear people whispering in the background. Do you hear them? Yeah, it is really quiet, but I can hear them. Okay, I'm getting back in the front. That was a bit too... <laughs> too... Creepy. <laughs> eh? Really quiet. I can barely even hear them. Yeah, I could barely even hear them. Are you sure those people aren't their IRL? Yes, those were not IRL people. Creepy! Diddle -diddle 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 -diddle. Creepy! 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 Du -du -du -du. No, sorry, that's a different thing. Oh, by the way, next week, Trains in World 2 is going to be free on the Epic Game Store, so if you don't have it, or if you're not sure if it'll run on your system, you can try it out then. So, Bogtan! Wait, was that that? Was that Bogtan? Ooh, it may have been that. Oh, it was as well! Bogtan! There we are! Where's the bug? I don't see it. Haha, <laughs> you're right, it wasn't there. Uh, go back with the 8 cam. I did. I already went back with the 8 cam. <laughs> actually, I need to speed up a bit because we are actually going to be late at this rate because I need to actually keep quite close to the speed limit. Uh, just preferably a little bit below as opposed to a little bit above. Worst the book. <laughs> Ban the tans? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Tane meaning uh, a uh, pine, I think. Pa is Tane pine? Or is it... How... What is the, what is the translation for Tane? Tan Tannenbaum. Ooh, speeding. There we are. Tan is conifer coniferous tree, I think. Maybe. Oh, you'll check. Okay, thank you. Ooh, that might be nice. See? I told ya, it'd be nice, because I saw it coming. The other one. Turn is fur. Ah, I'll check. What was that station? I don't know. I didn't check. Pine is pinion bomb. True. Fur makes, fur makes sense. Like, even going at over 100 kilometers an hour, minimum power is still giving me acceleration. 
it's still too much acceleration. I'm still speeding up at that. Oops, speeding again. There we are. However, the speed limit is going to increase to 120 kilometers an hour again. And Fichte is Prus. Ah, yeah, that's true. I think. Ooh, two freight diesels. I think they're, well, not diesels, uh, electrics. Two freight electrics. I think they were like uh, freight. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> two single locomotives. So just, just two locomotives. What's this one? Huh. Fast power hang. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> uh, diesels? Eh, XD. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's have a look. If I were a PZB activation switch, where would I be? Nope, that's a reverser. Apparently. Those aren't pressable. What's the signal at? Green, that's good. That's a sander. Headlights, headlights uh, dimmer. Windscreen wipers. I don't know where it would be. Hmm. Oh, actually, maybe it's maybe it's a button on the keyboard. Hold on, what's B? No, it's not B. Sometimes they bind B to to one of those ones. Oh, one slowing down to one ten soon. Hmm. That's a clear signal. Good, good. Lovely scenery. It is. A lot of the German routes can be quite boring, but I think this one's an interesting one. Ah, and this would be why we had to slow down this curve. I see. Ah, but it is super elevated, that's nice. Oh, and going up to 160 now. Ooh. Always kilometers per hour, of course. Full power! Okay, there we are, we're at 160, which is quite quick, I think. Hold on, what was that? This is... Pulling. <laughs> Shall we have a swoosh by... Yeah, let's have a swoosh. Whoops, that, it threw my mouse out again. Hold on. Let's have a swoosh under. Like that, sure. Oh, what happened? No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. Go back, Litepe, yes. There we are. Oh, no, there are other people here as well who watched it. <laughs> okay, that. <laughs> Approaching. Oh wait, we need to stop here. Neumarkt. That we need to stop there. Okay, let's let's begin our braking maneuver now. It's going to go down to one twenty anyway, but we need to actually stop there. <sighs> and what about Kyle Lübeck line? Yeah, that one's nice as well. It's uh, mostly got winter scenarios, though. That comes with TS-2021. TS I don't know. Wait, 50? Oh, I must have missed... Oh, we must be switching over in that case. 
I must have missed the the signal that told me that the temporary speed restriction is coming into place. I see. Oh, or maybe it's slowed us down to 50 because we're approaching the stop to stop. That could of course also be the case. But I think it's because we're changing. No, we're not, we're not switching. Yeah, it must be because we're approaching a stop. That it's automatically... The signals have automatically told us that we can't go faster than 50 if we're approaching to a stop. That makes sense. Okay. Again, there wasn't any tutorial in the, for this thing. Uh, at least not that I found. Uh, oh! Whoosh! Whoosh under UK! Phew! Let's watch this tame whoosh by! Whoosh! Oh, um, what are you all doing here? <laughs> yeah, basically. Here we go. Neumarkt. Oberplatz. And 50 kilometers an hour is, I think, 30 miles per hour or something like that. Ooh, the brakes sound interesting. Oh, do you know what the brakes remind me of? The brakes remind me of the whale probe from Star Trek IV. The sounds a little bit. Huh, <laughs> we're actually on time, probably because I sped so much in the little bit. I don't, yeah, some of the whale probe, like those, there's this one specific sound that it makes a couple of times, that... Uh, I think, I think when, Sp I think when Spock is trying to, oh, we stopped a bit too soon, uh, I think when Spock is trying to make the sound, see what sounds sound like underwater, I think one of those sounds there, that, that's what it reminds me of. And let's go! Ah. Yes? No? Why won't it go? Are the doors not? No, the doors are locked. I am not sure why it won't move. Why won't why won't the train move anymore? Hold on, what if I do this into neutral? There we are. Now forward. Now go. Why won't it move anymore? Oh now it will. I don't know what happened. I don't know what went, what was wrong there. Hmm. One sec. Oh well. Oh yes. Flat. Flats not. Flat. Oh. Falts. Falts not. Fla All right. Falts. Sorry. Oh yes. Well, probe. One sec. Beep beep. Uh. Hmm. Few. Huh. You keep an eye on the speed for me while I'm listening to this. Not that. Mm. That isn't the exact thing I meant. I meant when Spock is trying to... When Spock is trying to modify it so they can hear what it sounds like underwater. Although maybe... No, yeah, it is in there. It is, it is in there, the thing that I meant. That is still such great sound design, isn't it? And that thing is huge. I mean, the entirety of Earth's space dock is about the size of the little glowy thing that it has at the bottom. The little um, golf ball on, on, a, on, a, on the, the glowing tractor beam thing. 
Like the entire Earth space dock is about the size of that. Shut off the throttle. Oh, uh, that. Thank you for the the warning. Okay, uh, dining, which is a station where we need to go via, not stop at. Uh, on today's menu, golf ball on a stick, eh? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, eh? That's a four signal, which means before signal. Or, dist or, or distant signal. Eh? Is that true? What do you mean? As in that. Is that true? On today's menu, golf ball on a stick. Is that true? Is that what you mean? Because I don't know how to respond to that, really. Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm not the chef. Look, culvert. Hmm. Culvert because pipus. Ha ha ha. In its natural habitat. Ha. Huh. True. Somewhat. Except that it was put there by people. Or at least that's what I'm assuming. Another four signal. Interesting. Although the feeling of this forest here, it does very much feel like the forest in this area. The types of trees and and the hilliness of it, everything, which is also this is an interesting model for the tree that I think they may probably made for this map. It looks like it. I don't remember seeing it anywhere else. <laughs> the at the end, the entire report is going to be speeding, 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 speeding. Oh, there's another one of me. Wow. Now that's a detailed tree. It is. I'm actually surprised the map runs as good as it does for me. Especially in Nuremberg, which has all of those tracks. Nope, that's another four signal. This one signal has so many four signal, which actually don't count as block signals because they're only informing you what the ne next actual home signal is going to be. The the one that you have to uh, stop at because the 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 four signal, the distant signals, can display whatever aspect they want, and you can pass through them. They're just telling you what's coming up ahead. They're not actually. A point that you need to stop at if it's displaying a stop aspect. They do you need to st slow down, yes, to be able to stop at the next uh, proper signal, but the, the next home signal, I mean. There we go, that was it. That was the actual signal. Dining, platform two. Great, so they're not signal signals, but rather warning signals. Is that what you're, tr what you're saying? Mm, what do you mean by signal signals? 
and technically all signals are warning signals because all signals are trying to warn you of danger dining at this time of night a uh, day dining yes dining <laughs> mine specifically yes oh the speed limit's going to go up to 120 soon which is nice Ah, there's a bridge! Ooh. I meant signal signals, as in signals that are able to display a danger or a stop aspect. Well... Those names don't apply to these signals. But you mean a signal that has the capability to stop your train. Yeah? Uh, a signal that is capable of displaying an aspect that means you need to stop your train. Is that what you mean? Which distance signals usually can't do. Is that what you mean? Yes, that's what I mean. In that case, then yes. They're, they're not signal signals because they can't display an aspect that can stop your train. At least not here. Oh, and we're already speeding. I thought we were still accelerating towards the speed, but no, we already passed it. <laughs> it's so easy to accelerate with this train. I know that's a bit of an interesting complaint to have about a train. <laughs> that it accelerates too good. <laughs> Next stop is Parsberg, platform 1, in about 13 kilometers, which at this rate of speed, or rather, rate of overspeed, we should be at in about 7 minutes, maybe 6. Ah, alright, nice, good, good, good. I've got to remember. I've got to remember to keep an eye on the signals that are going to be on the approach to Parsberg, because if there is something that that is going to tell me to decelerate to 50 or whatever, then I don't want to miss it again. Hit Control Plus or Control Minus so we can see the, the rear cap just for a second or two. Uh, no, because I'm not sure if that will change uh, the controls. Why were you asking? I don't want to risk messing it up. I meant while you're coasting. Um, I'd prefer not to in case it messes things up. Just, just so one can see the scenery behind. Oh well. There you go. There's the scenery behind. <laughs> oh wait, why does this have the... What? Why does the... Hold on. Why does this have the, the white lights on as well? Eh? Sod. Where's the Why? I don't know. Oh, going down to one twenty, okay. Thanks. Good 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 good. Ah, there's a signal coming up ahead. Let's see what that signal says. It says, you fell for my trap, ha ha ha. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Oh, it's another little town there. XD, XD, ha ha ha. 
<laughs> uh, this is Soybel Stolf. Platform 1. Interesting name. In case you don't know, Sauber means clean. And to Soybel means to clean something. So Soybel Stolf means cleaner's town, I guess? Se Seuberstorf? What do you mean? I thought it was Seuberstorf. With... Like that, with an EU. Seuberstorf. With EU. At the front. EU. S-E-U. I think that's right, yes. Oh, it looks like there's a little tunnel coming up ahead. Or maybe it's a bridge. I don't know. Might be a bridge. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a bridge. Interesting because this four signal, see, it's not actually changed the aspect after I went through it because it's just telling me what the next uh, home signal is displaying. So the home signal is still displaying the same thing, so that is still displaying the same thing, even though I just went through it. Oh hey, do you want to play some farming simulator? No, don't answer that. <laughs> the hay bales just reminded me of it. Hmm, a little bit of an embankment. Hundred and forty. Speed limit. Yes. Oh, XD. <laughs> oh, I've got quite a ni nice view over there. Well, technically the view is here, but the thing we've got a view of is over there. No, don't armchair that. Armchair? As in armchair admiral. Is that what you mean? Oh, there's Pazic Platform 1. Okay, now I need to pay attention because I think that's going to slow me down to 50 at the next signal again. What is the next signal displaying? I'm going to slow down for it anyway. Even if it's not... But it may do. Mm, I don't know. Don't think I've heard that before. What is that rank? <laughs> An armchair admiral is someone who's in power and who orders other people to do stuff, but doesn't actually do anything themselves, who basically commands a navy from their armchair, who's sitting comfortably in their office, and not actually just doing anything themselves. No, we're still able to travel at 140 here. That's so strange. Huh. I don't know why we slow down to 50 then. If for this stop we are not. Hmm. Maybe it was it has something to do with the curve that was there with the other stop. Alright, ah, that makes sense. Is that a navy rank? <laughs> well, arm well, Admiral, yes. Armchair? Eh, maybe not. Passberg, platform one. This breaks again. <laughs> Doors open. 
All right, that makes sense. Also, is this train in Train Sim World? I think so, but I'm not completely sure. I think it is, not sure. Like an S-Bahn version? Yeah. Maybe on the München map. Also, do these clocks work? Huh. Interesting. I think they might just. Okay, now let's see if this will accelerate. If I now just give it... No, now it'll accelerate. Maybe it just needed a moment in coasting. Nice. <laughs> Speed limit 100. One forty coming up. Uh, to go, please. Let's save. And next station is Beratshausen. Beratshausen. Interesting. Which is about nine kilometers away. And then we've got. Uh, where is that? Okay. Things. Things. Good. Oh, it's back there. Oh, it's still about 35 kilometers away. That's okay. I need to accelerate more. Up to 140. I thought that little red bit of roof tiling I could see through the tree was a red signal. That... Uh, <laughs> that spooked me a little bit. I think I might have... It might have been these... This... I mean, what's, what's that? Oh, except that I'm speeding, yes. Ah, it might have been that, yeah. Mm -hmm. True. It's another train, though. Or it's another train, though. Oh, well. It's fine, don't worry about it. Going up to 150 soon. Sorry, that wasn't a comment on the route. It was just. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired. That's all. Ooh, spook! I'll watch that back later. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in the on the in the archive because of the stream compression. Because there is a lot of greenery moving, which isn't ideal for compression. Hmm. Solar farm. It's going quite quick, I think. Oops. There we are. Uh, aw, Mausheim. That's a cute name. You don't know, Maus is German for mouse. <laughs> and Heim means home. See, very similar. Very similar words. Aw. <laughs> XD, XD. I thought you'd, I might get a, a response like that. Uh, 110 speed limit coming up. Or something to that effect. <laughs>
and there was the warning board. Be it our thousand platform one. Okay, this one we need to stop at. So I'll start decelerating. Maushausen. I think it was Maushausen, yes. I went to the... Uh, I went to the sign. It was Mausheim. Oh, it was Mausheim. I said Mausheim before. I thought you were correcting me that it was Maushausen. Oh, well, no, it was Mausheim. But yeah, because I said Heim means home. I meant, is Maushausen a good name? Oh, is it a good name? Uh... Sure, why not? Although I may have slightly over Although actually no, I think I think we're we're gonna be right okay ish the breaking here. I mean Oh come on, you can open that door, surely. <laughs> I think somebody just sneezed in, in one of the uh, coaches. Oh, and I can hear cars in, in the distance. The sound of cars driving. Very quietly. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so from confusion, I have caused confusion. Yes, surely. <laughs> and it'll go again. I don't know what was the matter that first time. Maybe I just increased the power too soon. Maybe I need to put it in, yeah, like I said before, maybe I need to put it in coasting and then increase the power after that. Not just for a second either, just leave it for a couple of seconds and then apply power maybe. And by the way, the Pizza B magnets are these things. Yeah, those are the Pizza B magnets. Hello, Willis1961. Isn't Confusion your middle name? Um. Ooh. This, by the way, is the Nuremberg Regensburg map. Look, they actually bothered to put bird song in the background. Uh, <laughs> also, how are you? Hey, Kango Confusion Fango, Kango Confusion Fango, hardly. Snap, XT. <laughs> yeah, don't pay attention to my. S oh, you can't even ski. Ah, ha, 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 ha. You can't even see my score. It's currently up at about negative 4,000. Uh, well, not, not exactly. Yeah, I, I, this is the first time I'm driving on this map, so. <laughs> I didn't see the signal that informed me of a temporary speed restriction of 50 kilometers per hour and so I entered it at like doing like over 100 I think like 120 or something like that so well oh that's a deep cutting hmm 4,000 what points negative 4,000 points almost it, it's currently exactly at negative 3,898. Okay, next station is Regensburg Hauptbahnhof, platform 9. 
which is coming up in about 22 kilometers. And the next station we can stop at. The actual next station that I've got on the map is Labe. L-A-A-B-E-R. Platform 2. Oh, points! Yeah. It does really like to speed, this one. Actually, did... does the... the pizza at B magnet, does that make a sound? Because I thought it made a sound previously when I... a little beeping sound as I went over it. Hold on. Let's test that. L let's listen to it. It might be very quiet. No, it didn't. I'm not sure what I heard then. Oh, sure, blame it on the train, not the not not the lead foot driver. Ha 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 By that it likes to speed, I meant that it's easy to make it speed. That's what I meant. Not that it itself. Ah. I said lead, not lead. Oh, lead, not the lead foot driver. Lead footed. Oh, I see. Pedal to the metal. I see. Oh, heavy. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. 120. Coming up. There we are. How does that saying go? A good workman always blames his tools. <laughs> I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great stream title if I've ever seen one, and I have. <laughs> mm. You're the prettiest lady I've ever seen, and that's not saying much for you. Uh, the, to quote Groucho Marx. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, only about 17 kilometers away, and we're going at over, well, technically we're supposed to be going at exactly 2 kilometers per minute. Guess where this quote's from? There isn't a quote there. I think you've forgotten to put the quote in, Kango. <laughs> this is the worst French film I've ever seen. It's also the only French film I've ever seen. Um, Animaniacs? It might be an Animaniacs reference. Is it? Or is it out also a Groucho Marx one? Seems kind of weird. A week without transport fever. Yeah. I know. I do also miss it a bit. Um... Yep, who said it? Can you guess? Uh, I'm going to guess that it was Yakko. Because Yakko is kind of based on Groucho Marx. Hmm. Doyling. Yeah, I, I do miss Transport Fever 2 as well. But I'm really excited for Star Trek, which will be starting this uh, Tuesday, the 27th. <laughs> well, although that will be that will be session creation, but it should be interesting to kind of get used to streaming it and seeing what the different characters will be like and what the ship will be and its class and stuff. That'll be interesting. Plus, it'll explain some basics about the game, so you can follow along a bit more by actually watching. Ding ding! Here's a point. Thank you. That'll make such a difference at negative 3,922 points. 
Uh, actually two. Oh, well now it'll, it'll make double the difference. Take them. Oh, it'd be nice if there was a Daedalus. But we'll see if it was a Daedalus. <laughs> you really want a ship that's already over a hundred years old that was specifically designed to have the most basic technology aboard to be the easiest to repair. Is that what you mean? <laughs> I see such a difference. Yeah. I'm betting, well, if I were to bet, I would say either Constitution or uh, Hermes. That, that would be my bet, either Constitution or Hermes. Uh, it will be a fixer-upper. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you do get one of those, then, I mean, it's, it's got, it's not even got shields, it's still got the the polarized hull plating and it doesn't have tractor beams but rather it's got actual grapplers it may not even have a transporter i don't know and if it does it's a very very old one uh so hmm. yes i do maybe the enemies will be softer with us if they saw our daedalus that's my strategy St strategy slash strategy did you accidentally type strategy and then thought it would make sense given the context? And then left it. Maybe a refit Daedalus? Oh, it would definitely be refit, but still. There's only so much the space frame can take in, in terms of refits. But I don't think that that will work. I mean, if you want to be left alone by a lot of stuff, it's, so it's like the armada that's coming to Vulcan or whatever is like... Uh, the, com the command is, uh, on the bridge is like, Sir, we're detecting a Federation vessel. On screen. Wh where is it? Magnify. Magnify. Is that it? Yes, it is a... Sir, it is a Daedalus class. You bother me with a Daedalus class. Keep on present course. Do you mean something like that? Um, hmm, you got me. <laughs> I gotcha with uh, the strategy slash strategy. XD, XD, XD. Or everyone will attack you because they think you are easy pickings. Well, you you would be easy pickings. That Klingon commander from Star Trek 3, the, well, not Star Trek 3, uh, Star Trek 5, that's the one I meant. That one would, oh, that's not a good picture the pylons in the way. That guy would definitely come after you. But those are different Klingons to the original series ones. I mean, with a Daedalus, even some of the most basic spatial anomalies would cause severe damage because you don't have shields, you've just got polarized hull plating. So you've got nothing that would deflect Except for the navigational deflector, that'd be the, the, yeah, the navigational deflector would be the only thing that would deflect uh, spatial anomalies. Stuff like that. You'd be so small, enemy sense won't be able to pick you up. No, not really. Because they can pick up, they, well, at least given the distance, they can pick up... Uh, shuttles. The only thing is that maybe if you repainted it and changed your transponder, you might be easily mistaken for just some old cargo ship and not actually a Federation vessel with that design because the Daedalus design may not be that well known outside of the Federation. Uh, a holographic shell of a Daedalus projected around a small high-tech battlecruiser. Oh! <laughs> Why are you so excited about that proposition, Kanga Fanga? I wouldn't have thought that you'd be the type to go for a battle cruiser. <laughs> but yeah, that would that would be well, that would be more discovery tech. So Star Trek Discovery uh, stuff or or TNG. But TOS, uh, although although the in Star Trek Enterprise the Romulans did have that mind control mind controlled spaceship that functioned similar to that.
XD. Oh, was referring to the repaint. Haha. <laughs> oh, right, I see. Let's paint the Daedalus in Elemis Crimson. <laughs> the the only danger with that is if you're not taking the game seriously, then the other players would be encouraged to also not take the game seriously. And while that may be fun for a while, it, you just lose tension. And that would make it quickly become boring. Because if you're not taking it seriously, why should the audience take it seriously? Okay, here we are. Coming in a bit, a bit hot, admittedly. Regensburg. Prüfening. Platform 1. There we are. Elemis Devon! Yeah, you're right. But maybe if the ship got some sort of great advantage to weigh out its disadvantage is... Mm, well, mm, I don't really like that idea. Because that way you kind of lose the, the specialness. It's like, oh, we've got this really, really old museum ship. There was a couple of them maybe still in service somewhere running cargo back and forth between maybe a colony and, its, and the, the moon of the colony. Something like that, stuff that's mostly kept within system, but for some reason you've got to go out there and to the vast cosmos, and then that's that would be the appeal. That's like you are so hopelessly outmatched by pretty much everything that you've got to uh, think up other solutions. But then if you say, okay, we've got this, but for some reason we've got a transphasic cloaking device, which that's not. Uh, I mean, that would certainly be special, but that sounds more like the thing, a thing you might do if you've already played lots and lots and lots of campaigns in the game. Wait, is this not the right platform? I thought it was... Oh! It's not the right platform! Well, that's... You didn't see anything. <laughs> this was an unscheduled... an unscheduled stop. We're supposed to stop at Regenburg, Regensburg Hauptplattform, not Regensburg Prüfingen. There we are, never mind. <laughs> it was an unscheduled stop. We had some uh, issues with the pantograph. Yes, we need to check them out. It's fine. That somehow linked to the doors opening. Never mind. We'll have a little bit of a delay now. Two minutes about. <laughs> uh. Yeah, but I think that it can also quickly become boring. Like, if you're always so hopelessly outmatched, then that can get boring. Uh, sounds like a, the pilot episode of Battlestar Galactica. I've never seen Battlestar Galactica, although I have heard good things about it. But one could have it refitted, right? So that it has proper shields, attraction beam, etc. Yes, true. But then... It, basically what you're saying is can't we have this spaceship that looks like a Daedalus, but it, it isn't a Daedalus? That, can we, can't we just have this spaceship that, that has, just has the visuals of a Daedalus, but isn't a Daedalus? That's what you're saying to me, basically. That's how I'm understanding that. Uh, what happened? X uh, sure, sure. Was geht hier vor? Gar nix, gar nix to train. Feindlich. <laughs> True. Ihre Anschlusszüge warten. Vielleicht. Okay, there we go. Regensburg Hauptbahnhof, Regensburg Hauptbahnhof, Regensburg Hauptbahnhof, Regensburg Hauptbahnhof. There we are. I guess you're right. Hmm. Old Battlestar, old Battlestar about to be retired and became a museum ship when there is a massive enemy surprise attack on the fleet. I see. I mean, I haven't seen it, so I don't know if I'd find it interesting or not, but the actual premise of it 
does seem like it would it might lend itself to good storytelling. Again, I missed the signal speed change because I'm not used to looking at the signals for which speed I'm allowed to go at. Is there a TOS constellation? No. Mm -mm. The the classes of ship that you'll have to choose from that you'll have to choose from, I mean, is either the Constitution, the Hermes, the original Miranda before the refit, the Daedalus, or the uh, I think the Miranda's in it. Or the the NX. Even the NX is newer than the Daedalus. By quite a long way. And there we go. Ringsburg. This time, the correct station. Hopefully. Uh, alright, I see. When you were talking about the museum ship, made me think of that. Hmm. Yeah, I can see that. Ah, NX-01? Not 01, I know. Hmm. TOS Constellation was commanded by Comm Commodore Matt Decker and eaten by the Doomsday Machine. Yes, but that's the USS Constellation, not, the co not a Constellation class. Oh, was it? Yes, it was. And Commodore Decker almost got the Enterprise eaten by it as well. And, <laughs> yes. Okay, good evening, your shift will end here, and another driver taking the train forward. Yes, I think maybe my career will end here, uh, with that score. Ugh. Well, at least I'll need to take a lot of more training, probably. Yeah. You can see, a little bit of speed, a little bit of speed, a little bit of speed, speeding, a little bit of speeding, speed, a little bit of speed, speeding, speeding, oh no, no, so much, look at that, that's where all the speeding happened. And then stuff. Yeah. Anyway. Right, so it's time for RCT3. Oh, was it? All oh, right, yeah, I meant class. The foreign celled one. Security, please escort this drive off the premises. Escort this drive off the premises. <laughs> Driver, probably. Yeah. But in that episode with the Doomsday Machine, when Spock relieved Decker of command, because he was unfit for command. He said security, to take him to, I think he said, confine him to his quarters or, th or something like that. And they only sent one security guard with him who was walking, who had a phaser, but was walking close enough that he could be swung. And then he just coughed <laughs> and then puff, puff basically, uh, hit him and then escaped with a shuttle, which of course gave them the gave Kirk the idea to fly the remains of the constellation into the Doomsday Device to basically kill it. However, one thing that I really like about that episode is that it showcases just how sturdy those ships are. Even with large parts of the constellation being destroyed, uh, being destroyed as well as the nacelle being out of alignment and bent and the uh, main power being completely depleted, phaser power being depleted, only running on auxiliary power, they still manage to get that ship maneuverable enough to pilot it into the maw of this thing. Uh, good driving. Your career will end here while another driver takes your trip forward. <laughs> driver, I meant that. Oh, well, that's not really select. Hold on. I'll try selecting. Why is that so long, that link? That link's literally miles long. No, I can't select that. That's, that is taking... didn't work. Uh, and that is why red shirts are expendable. They're not expendable. Yeah, that didn't work either. Again! Let's try this one. <laughs> Ah, that. Well, no. Basically, because I 
I don't want the or this campaign, this new campaign, to feel like a to feel like a TNG campaign with all with all those different ships, just basically TOSified. I don't want to have oh, it's a constellation, but it's TOS, or oh, it's a nebula, but it's TOS. Well, I guess technically, if you had a Miranda, that would be the case. But no, you know what I mean. <laughs> um. I want it to feel like that, like the original series, which means we basically only see very, very few amounts of ships. I mean, in the original series, we the only Federation ships we saw were the, the Constitution class, various ships, as well as, I think, some freighters, some freighters as well. In the animated series, we also got to see, actually, maybe, maybe the freighters were in the animated series. I don't know. I don't remember. Of course, I think in the remastered version they did add several other ship classes in there, but... Um, yeah. Alright, I see. Fair enough. Shouldn't feel modded, I see. <laughs> Not necessarily modded, it should... It. I want it to feel different than the TNG games. I want it to feel like you're watching an episode of the original series. So, having... Something so, yeah. having a Hermes class, I would say that that's good. Hermes class that's also uh, comes with the rules with with the command subdivision, or a a Miranda, which we because we know that the they were refitted like the the other one, so yeah, those just smaller like it makes sense. You have the big Constitution class. And then you've got like a smaller scout type vessel, which is the or a destroyer type maybe I don't know, which is the the Hermes, fast, more maneuverable. And then you've got more attack oriented one, which is the Miranda class. What would the Daedalus bridge even look like? Well, it would probably look like. Well, it was pre uh, TNG, uh, la, la, Enterprise, pre Enterprise, so it would probably look like very industrial, not very comfortable, probably more like a submarine, I would guess. But I don't know. Uh, I'm just imagining it like a constitution only scaled down on the X and Y axis. No, 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 because the Daedalus was older than the NX classes. At least according to the lore that we're going with. Because this is lots of beta information. Uh, not vertically. Starfleet Technical Manual had a TOS Scout, Destroyer and Tug. Yeah, because um, those, uh, those freighters who have those modules that can be attached behind them, like those, those cylindrical modules that can be attached more and more and more, that's also a, a very interesting idea. Uh, so, you'll have hand-to-hand -hand combat in most episodes? We'll see. Probably not in most episodes, but... Ah! Charles, oh right, I see, that, that makes sense. Test! Test? Didn't it have a spherical primary hull? Do you mean the Daedalus? In, yes, it did. The spherical primary hull, and then the, the, the another cylinder as the engineering hull with the uh, TOS tile cells. Which yes, it is a bit odd that the design style would go from TOS over to the, the ones we see in Enterprise and then back to TOS. It might be, uh, it might be that with Enterprise, a lot more design elements from say that the Vulcans have contributed would be in would be part of that. Although you do see the the Phoenix, Ephraim Cochrane's first warp ship, the design elements from that, that then appear in Star Trek Enterprise. That, so there is a bit of, there is some continuity there, but the, uh, yeah. Yes, there you go. The Daedalus class. Pick from SEO. Yes, that is what I was thinking of. Yeah, the thing is, the only time that appears on screen, if as I recall, if I recall correctly, 
is in the background of Cisco's office. There's a little model of it. And I think that's the only place where it appears on screen. So, right, I'll be back with RCT3 shortly. Think I might have also been in an animated episode. I don't think so. But maybe. It could be. I, but I, I don't think it was. But maybe. I, I, it's been a while since I've seen them. I think like seven years, I think, since I've last seen the animated series. Um, as Molly, yeah, um, you're right. And in the animated series remastered, I think. R wait, the animated series remastered? Yeah, I think so. I didn't realize the animated series got a remaster. Anyway, yes. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See you in a moment.